Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? I've just arrived in Singapore. I'm right now waiting for my luggage. Okay, so first things first, this is completely unplanned. I was not supposed to go to Singapore. Or I wasn't supposed to stay in Singapore for 24 hours. It's because I really messed up the dates when I booked this flight. And, uh, yeah. Uh, my parents are, I'm supposed to join my parents, and I thought we had an hour apart. We're supposed to go on to Malaysia. But they're actually coming 24 hours from now because I totally screwed up. That said, Panasonic has lent me the new LX10 for this trip and a lot of the future trips. So uh, I'm going to be showcasing, I'm going to be filming most of the stuff on the LX10 for this adventure. As well as I also have this new holster for my DSLR. Just in case I need to take some Instagram shots. So I'm pretty excited about all this new gear that I have. So uh, if you take a look at this map, I am right now here. I have to be back here at some point tonight for 5 a.m. So I'm thinking going to Chinatown, Little India, Marina Bay Sands, and Orchard, which is somewhere. Okay guys, so right now, I met a friend. Who's Christy. Hi. She was looking at a map and I said hello because I was lost. And, uh, oh, you're taller than me. Okay, very good. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so we've just arrived at the Sri Ver... Good luck pronouncing that. <laughs> Sri Ver Malakaniman Temple. And apparently they worship the destroyer of evil. What's supposed to happen here is that it's supposed to be the most lively temple ever. Right? In Little India. In Little India. <laughs> If anyone does know what's going on, leave a comment below and like explain it to me because I actually have no idea if it's a holiday or if it's a regular everyday thing. Uh, but yeah, exploring India, little India. I'm pretty sure I saw one really large temple somewhere in a video somewhere, so I'm gonna go look for that before I leave for Chinatown. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we found somewhat of a street market here in Little India. Just exploring the site. Okay, someone want to know one boy? I imagine there's like a school trip here, that's why there's so many kids here. This is fun. This is what I imagined Little India would look like. It is or is it? It is. Yeah. It's more or less what I thought it'd be. <laughs> She likes that one. Oh hi, are you ready? Hi. <laughs> Expensive. By, Expensive. By, by Asian standards. By, okay, how much was it? 18. Oh, that's a lot. I know. That is a lot by Asian standards. I was, I was gonna go for 10. <laughs> yeah, that, that is, I agree with your decision there. Okay, executive decision, we're changing our plans. Right now we are going to Chinatown. Uh, because there is the world's cheapest Michelin star restaurant in a hawker center in Chinatown. Hawker center is basically, uh, what do you call it? There used to be a whole bunch of truck stops and they the government turned it into like, you have to be in a building with like proper water and things. So this is like where you can get the cheapest food in Singapore. And are we gonna have some fun? We sure are. And some food. Let's go. Let's go. We made it. Yay! And now we're looking for the hawker place. Uh, the hawker place is about 200 meters outside of the um, MRT station. Uh, and I'm really excited to try some more Vishen Star food. So I bet you there's an hour wait. That's, that has to be a thing. How much were you selling them for? Like $30. These are jade things, right? Yeah. yeah. If you want jade, go to the jade market in China. Or in Hong Kong, rather. Is it um, cheap? Yes. How much? How cheap? Like a quarter of the price of what I But you think yeah. everything in Singapore is going to be a lot more expensive than anything you'll find pretty much anywhere else in Southeast Asia. Oh. 
Okay, we found the Hawker Place. I think this is the Hawker Place. We're looking for that Michelin star restaurant right now. Let's hope it has an English sign. We found it, yay! I thought it'd be in like an actual Hawker Place, but it's just outside. I guess this is kind of a Hawker Place, outside of it. It literally says Hawker on the sign. <laughs> but that's not what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Alright, let's go in. Oh shit, that looks like a really busy restaurant. I imagine that they're YouTubers. I think they're filming a thing. <laughs> Okay, right now it's about 11 o'clock. Business seems to be booming. Uh, it's very, very packed. Pretty excited. Are you excited? Are you excited? I'm excited. Have you tried chicken rice, Singapore chicken rice before? I have not. Okay. Okay, guys, so right now we're just about to eat the food. Super excited. Uh, this is the Singapore chicken rice, which is the Singapore's number one dish here. It's like the country's dish. Uh, we're also got some other things on the side too. This is a Michelin star restaurant, so the quality should be really, really good. It's a lot of food. Oh shit, that like is a lot of food. food. We ordered one extra by mistake. <laughs> Wait, that's not ours. Yes, it is. No, we got... Oh, no, yeah, that's right. We did order two. Yeah, this is chicken rice. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is us. Yeah. My bad. I forgot. I'm gonna need cover. Alright. Alright. This is your first go chicken rice. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah? You like it? Very good. Is it the best chicken rice you've ever had in your life? Is this the only chicken rice you've ever had in your life? Okay. expected to be fine that Michelin star restaurant in. Uh, obviously they got big enough and the business got big enough that they can move out of a hawker center. But the rule about a hawker center is that they're well one that they're littered all over Singapore. But two, if there's a line in front of the hawker uh, the hawker shop, then it is probably a very good restaurant. Uh, the competition here is extremely fierce and if you are not getting business, you're gonna get kicked out, you're gonna get out of business really quickly. So everything in the Hawker Centers are usually really, really good. Take a look around. This one's probably really good. That looks really good. Okay, so you can also, there is like fine dining and things like that in Singapore, but majority of the people actually eat in Hawker Centers a little bit more. And it's a lot more of an informal thing altogether. It's, it's like it's like the number one place where Singaporeans love to eat. So this is a massive place. Okay, so we just found the what is this called? Uh, Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. Ooh. Or something like that. Robin finds skulls. I don't think we're gonna find skulls. I think we're gonna find teeth. I hope that they don't make us remove our shoes. I think they probably don't. Well, shit. <laughs> oh, this is really... I like this. This is nice. I think they might be studying scripture. Yeah, I guess so. So, quick update. We just saw this the golden tooth. Uh, it was inside a secure room where we weren't allowed to film. But now we're heading off to the roof garden. We saw a little bit earlier. Hi, Fortune! Fortune! Okay. 
Or kids. Yes, or kids. It does not have any watches. That'd be pretty awesome. That would be there. amazing. Oh wow, this is a nice garden. I was That's not surprising. expecting this big. I was expecting something tiny. A very small roof with a, one flower in the middle. Yeah. Do you want to touch the spinning wheel of death? I say like that's an option. Okay, so I'm totally filming on a point shoot today. If it's extra shaky today, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm filming with a new camera. I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet. I'll figure it out. But check away, take a look at the spinning wheel of death. I should probably stop calling that out loud. <laughs> You guys can pause that if you want to read that. Hey guys, check out this building. It's a hotel. It has like all greenery all over the place. Oh yeah? Yeah. Very cool, very cool. So right now we're heading to Marina Bay Sands, which is where that really funky hotel with the surfboard on top of it with the infinity pool and all that other great stuff. Uh, but I guess we're just going to be walking around We're waiting for golden hour. Yeah. Like what? What kind of free things can we do in Singapore? Uh, Gardens by the Bay is free to go into. Uh, the light show that you can watch at Gardens by the Bay is also free. Cool. Um, there are a number of museums and art galleries that are free in Singapore as well. I guess we just went to two like cultural things yeah, free. Yeah, we did. We went yeah. to some temples that are free, Chinatown and Little India. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Boop. Okay, so the next tourism attraction that we're at is the Merlion. Millions and millions of Japanese tourists are here. So today we are now taking pictures of everybody taking pictures of another thing. Inception. Inception. We're doing the Inception thing. <laughs> Three, two, one. That's already recording something. <laughs> Marina Bay Sands? We're at Marina Bay. Marina Bay. And the laser show was going to happen in half an hour. Half an hour. We've just been hanging out here for the last two hours. Eating ice cream. Eating ice cream. cream and falling asleep in Starbucks. Yeah. And complaining about how chili crab is $200 here. We are now looking for chili crab to eat somewhere in Singapore, but probably not here because everything is really, really expensive. Welcome to the financial district. Yeah. Be good. Bye. Bye. Yay. Okay, so that ends today's day one unplanned adventure in Singapore. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that because I absolutely had no idea what I was doing. Thank you guys for watching.